Breaking news coming in on Udenadi's Stalin's attack. A uh, storm explodes as Stalin defends his son, slams the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. MK Stalin, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, says unfair for the Prime Minister to make comments without knowing what Udenadi Stalin spoke. Stalin says, and I quote, pro BJP forces unable to tolerate his stance against oppressive principles have spread a false narrative alleging that Udenadi Stalin called for genocide of people with Sanatan thoughts. Prime Minister Modi says we must counter Sanatan slander. As this, as what, this was what Prime Minister had said, saying that we must counter Sanatan slander to which Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, M.K. Stalin, has retorted, saying that there was, there's absolutely no... Con the, the, the comment that my son has made has been taken out of context. Uh, there's false claims being made that he called for genocide. It's not true. That pro-BJP forces are unable to tolerate his stance. Shilpa Nair joining us live for more on that. Shilpa, uh, tell us more as we see for the first time M.K. Stalin, the father of Uday Nidhi, has stepped into this controversy, backed his son, saying what he said was right. He was taking a stand against oppressive principles. What uh, Prime Minister is doing is wrong or what uh, Prime Minister is saying is wrong. Well, absolutely, Nabila. In fact, this is the first time that Tamil Nadu Chief Minister and DMK President MK Stalin is reacting to the Sanatana Dharma controversy stoked uh, by his son and DMK Minister Udenidhi Stalin. In fact, he's issued a three-page statement just now. And in that statement, MK Stalin says it's completely unfair uh, that the Prime Minister is, uh, uh, you know, making comments without really knowing what Udenidhi spoke. And I'm just going to quote from the statement that the Chief Minister has just released. He says, pro-BJP forces are unable to talk tolerate his stance, Udenidhi stance against oppressive principles and therefore they have spread a false narrative that Udenidhi has called for the genocide of people with Sanatan thoughts. The social media mob nurtured by the BJP has widely circulated this falsehood in northern states. However, Udenidhi never used the word genocide in either Tamil or English. Still lies where spread claiming. So that of course is uh, what the Chief Minister has just pointed out. And apart from that, he also talks about how a seer in Ayodhya, Paramahans Acharya had uh, issued death threats to Udenidhi Stalin and had, had even announced a bounty of rupees 10 crore on Udenidhi Stalin's head. And he, uh, Chief Minister says uh, instead of the UP government taking action against that seer, they have filed uh, cases against uh, Udenidhi Stalin. And in these circumstances, he says, it is disheartening to hear from the national media that the Honorable Prime Minister mentioned that Udenidhi's remarks need a proper response uh, during a meeting of his Council of Ministers. The Honorable Prime Minister has access to all resources to verify any claim or any report and uh, therefore is the Honorable Prime Minister speaking unaware of the lies spread about Udenidhi or does, is he doing so knowingly? So, of course, uh, CM uh, Stalin is raising questions about why the BJP is trying to uh, spread these lies despite Udenidhi clarifying that he never called for any kind of genocide uh, but he, uh, the Chief Minister and DMK President says this is being done for the political gains of the BJP. Look, on one hand uh, you have uh, MK Stalin backing his son and Udenidhi Stalin claiming that he hasn't called for genocide but on the other there hasn't been, uh, an, uh, there hasn't come an apology from Udenidhi Stalin whatsoever for likening Sanatan Dharm entirely to dengue malaria which needs to be eradicated. Uh, of course, the, 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 those who are hurt with this comment, has they've dubbed that statement as a call for genocide. But at least maybe uh, start with uh, an, a, a sorry, uh, to, to begin with a sorry wouldn't really take away from his credibility. 